he taught the world through his own ministry that we are ordained not for ourselves, we are ordained for God's people. When some of the villagers were asking for a little more money, the paramilitary people came into the village. They called them out of the fields and they killed them all. So almost three months ago, uh, because of the political situation in the country, uh, I had to leave. And I think uh, when I go back, Whenever that will be, the, my ministry will be different. Stanley spent a week here at the Mount. During the day, he would be in the seminary chapel, and then he would climb the Mount into his beloved grotto. And at the end of the week, he said, I know what I must do. If I go back and speak, they'll kill me. But if I keep silent, what kind of a shepherd would I be? for all the things that he hoped for for his people. One time he said, if he could just give them a faith to live by in the midst of their oppression, that would be the least that he could do. Stan told me, he says, if, I, if they ever come and get me, they're not going to get me out of the house. Seen this car drive up, and when Father Beckman got out of the car, I raised up and I said, Father, I said, they didn't get him out of the house, did they? He said, they will never take me out and shoot me in the country and throw my body in a well. He said, I will put up a fight. And he was as strong as strong could be. Now that he has been martyred there, there is great support for what is going on in Guatemala. Something happens when one comes to Mount St. Mary's. The hand of God is on this holy mountain. I believe that he would say, be calm, be kind, be kind, be kind. <laughs>